is now in session. Zimmer down. Let's get one thing straight. When you hoodlum step in front of my bench, you better have your full payment. Not a day late or a dollar short. Because I will be locking your asses up. I am not in the mood, and today is not the day to play with Harry Penis. I hope I make myself clear. You niggas better have your acts together when you come in front of this bitch this morning. Hey, Yana, Scott Henderson here. I'm a little bit tired because I had to get all 20 of my kids ready for daycare this morning and go drop them off. But that's not the problem. I ran out of gas on the freeway and I had to walk an hour and a half just to make it. But no excuses made here. Shut your ass up. Boy, I could have swore I flushed you down the toilet this morning. You better have each and every cent that you owe me. You owe me $5.55. I hope you got it, and you better not give me any type of excuse. Where my money at? That's the thing, Your Honor. I'm in quite of a pickle here. I had to be at court this morning at 8 o'clock, so I wasn't able to go cash my check at the bank because they opened at 8 o'clock as well. I didn't want to miss this court date because I know you would have wrote my ass a citation. But if you may, please let me run directly across the street and cash my check, and I will be straight back. Two or three minutes tops, Your Honor. Could you please allow me to do that? That shit over with. What the hell I look like to you? Give you a ride to the bank? I'll give you a ride somewhere. Give me one second. Where are those handcuffs? Somebody pass me those handcuffs. Hey, Judge. We just passed the bank, sir. You supposed to make that left. Where are we going? Simmer down. I'm not taking your ass to the bank to cash no check. Should have had my $5.55 in your hand. Now you're going to do 555 days in jail. While I go home and write the rest of these citations for you hoodlums. God damn woman. Why the hell you ain't cleaned up the house? I've been at work all these hours and I come back in the house and still looking the same. What the hell you been doing? Nigga, who just called you? Where your phone at? Simmer down. Nobody wants to hear that. I'm about to leave. I'll be right back shortly. And don't you follow me either. Woo! Jeez Louise, I'm so glad to be outside of that house. Now it's time for me to concentrate and give me a peace of mind before I go back to work tomorrow and lock up some more of these hoodlums. Nigga, you ain't thought you were finna leave me at the house. Where your phone at, Mr. Harry Penis? Give me your phone. Where your phone at? Uh, what the hell? Where the hell did you come from? How the hell you get in my car? I'm about to write your ass a citation. Go ahead then. I don't give a damn. Just let me see that phone, Mr. Harry Penis. No problem. As a matter of fact, before I give you my phone, I got somewhere I want to take you to. I promise you're going to love it, and it might look real familiar to you. Just be real still, and we'll pull up in a moment. Make sure you got your seatbelt on. Really, Harry? So you're about to take me to Winners and give me a four for four? Oh, man, that's why I love you, Harry. I won't say another word. Lock her ass up. Lock her up. Yeah, this will be your new home for the rest of your natural life. I'm sick and tired of you asking me about a cell phone. Well, hey, now you got a phone inside of your cell. Now you have you a good life. Nigga, I do one, two, three, four, five, ten years in prison. I don't give a damn, Harry. I will be getting my hands on that phone, sir. Hunker down! Shut your ass up! You're not leaving here anytime soon. 